Hey guys, Sean here at Real Salt Chef. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really yummy bone broth to get you through these cold winter months using just your leftover turkey bones and of course our real salt. Okay, so here I've got my leftover turkey bones. I happen to hold on to the neck and gizzards. I'm gonna saute those up in some butter with some celery, leeks, carrots, garlic, bay leaves, some white peppercorn, kosher salt, and then I've got a savory herb bundle here with some rosemary, uh, thyme, and parsley. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is get some butter going here, nice and hot. Like I said, I'm gonna saute the neck and gizzard with all these yummy vegetables. With bone broth, you can make it as simple or complex as you like. If you don't want to add all these vegetables in there, you don't have to. I like it because I think it kind of rounds out the good flavor from the turkey bone. Season those up. We'll let those get nice and brown. Okay, I told you I would talk about the herb bundle here. Um, so I bundled it in some cheesecloth and tied it up, and that's gonna go right into our broth. And the reason I keep it bundled up is, after this is done and has reduced down after about 12 to 14 hours, we're gonna strain it. And you don't want all these little leaves from the rosemary and thyme to be in your broth. I like a nice clean broth. Uh, it kind of helps with whatever you're gonna cook next with it. So I like to bundle them up, keep it nice and neat. Okay, we've got some good caramelization on those veggies. Take a look, nice and yummy. We are gonna add all of our bones, our two bay leaves, our herb bundle, two tablespoons of real salt, kosher salt. And then two teaspoons of our white peppercorns. You can use black here too if you like. And we're gonna cover that all with water. Right up to the top, and then we're gonna bring that back to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you can turn the heat down to low and just let it simmer for 12 to 16 hours. Okay, my broth has been going at it for about 12 hours now. You can see the, the different levels of evaporation as the water evaporates out and you get all this beautiful flavor on the top, including this nice layer of fat. That's where all your flavor is gonna be and all your goodness. Okay, so the broth is reduced by about a third and now we're gonna strain it and the best way to do it is if you have a fine mesh strainer, that'll catch all the little bits in there that you don't want getting into your broth. But if you don't have a fine mesh strainer, you can also use a colander that's lined with some cheesecloth. Here we are after a couple passes through the cheesecloth. We have this beautiful, clean broth. We're gonna start jarring it. One thing I forgot to mention as it's boiling um, over the 12 hour process, you can taste it. Um, keep checking it. Uh, you might have to add a little salt along the way. So just kind of keep checking your seasoning as it's reducing down. Here's my broth. It's chilled in the fridge for a few hours. Uh, let's just take a look at it, show you what we're looking for. It's 
got that nice layer of fat on the top. And when you break through that, look at that. It's like jello. That's what you want your bone broth to look like. It's got all that wonderful collagen and fat in there. That is gonna be delicious.